Okay. And it looks like we're streaming. Uh, well, welcome all to the 35th multiplayer live stream for Rank Warmaster. Uh, today, uh, we're going to show further progress on the uh, salvage system. More importantly, the cargo system, really. Um, probably have a brief look at the... Um, and then the, the updated graphics on the builder screen or building screen rather and maybe the repair beam will work <laughs> and we'll hopefully be able to show that too so without further ado we'll go into more demonstration kind of stuff and then we'll uh actually do um a little bit of actual full-on gaming and i want to change one thing i, I did improve the uh the frame rate because I did what's called profiling, which allows you to see how long the CPU stays in one function versus another. And I found out some of the debugging that I did from um, checking memory on the Microsoft side, meaning on the, on the operating system side, uh, unfortunately took a lot more CPU time than I had honestly expected. To the point that it was eating between 20 to 30 percent of my frame rate just because of that so i was like oh well that's a problem uh another thing i use for trapping bad things also caused some problems um which i've also since removed um so hopefully that will alleviate that problem basically we just track to see if everything was intact and if it wasn't it would um, flag it and then it would stop and then we could debug it. But um, that isn't how that... It was eating a lot of CPU on that. So we're doing some optimizations since it was falling below a certain threshold. Um, and we'll see. Now, I, one thing I will bring up, I am going on vacation for the next two weeks. Not quite two weeks, but like 11 days. And so the amount of stuff that's going to be done between now and the next live stream is going to be the pity in comparison. <laughs> Simply because I just don't have, uh, at least from where I am, COVID's kind of, I won't say stopping, but at least becoming more manageable. So I've been stuck where I have been for over a year, as most people have, and I need a vacation. <laughs> I've put a lot of work and effort into this, so is my coworkers. And uh, it's like one of those, yeah, um, <laughs> we need a break. So that's kind of where that one is. Here, I'm going to turn down the music a little bit here. Uh, let's turn the music itself. All right. So, uh, server's up. I think we all know how it goes when people get overstressed. It gets to a point of uh, become very irritable. Volume seems good thus far. Excellent. And for those who are technically minded, um, I th think I finally, at least mentally, cracked VTFS. I know it's always been explained, and so I'm not sure what the hell that is. It's volume tiled forward shading, which I know doesn't mean that much, but it lets you do a lot more light sources. And I intended on doing it far earlier than now, I mean, as far as work on it goes. And technically, I started it with a new lighting system, but that only got a fraction of the way where I wanted it to go. Um, I'm hoping that I'll have time to get it done before next live stream. I don't think that will happen since I'm going to be on vacation. But I didn't get this far in the game by always not working on it <laughs> with some form or another. So I'm, just in case, I might do it, but I don't know if I'm really going to. Um, I might do one of the pieces of it. But it's coming. I'm very convinced about that now. So, um, 
Because as much as I like the buildings, they do need a little more pizzazz, and adding individual lighting on them would do that. And while I could do that now, it's, it's not going to... We'll hit limitations very, very quickly. So, in any case, I think everybody's uh, on the server at this point, yes? I think so. All right, then let's start. So all we're doing initially is, Jordan, if you wish to, um, start making up the city. What we're going to do is to get a salvage system up and then um, give it something to eat. And then hopefully uh, that same salvage ship will have a repair beam on it and we can use it to repair things. Now we're going to actually have to use the... Um, that's an interesting question. Um, this is going to be a true test, Matt, of whether or not if the switching between um, weapon ticks works. Good. Because I, I, I'll admit, I have never tried it. So we'll actually... Uh, See how well that, that comes out. But I also fully admit that the lighting system... I like the atmospheric shader, that works. But the... I don't know. The lighting system definitely needs a little bit of help. And I want to try to help it out a little bit here. It doesn't look that bad, though. Shadows are another thing that I'm hoping to be able to implement. I've been doing a lot of research on cascading shadow maps. They're hopefully able to handle large areas a lot better than what I'm doing now. So I think both of those will take the engine and the game up a notch, is the, is the idea. Alright. So, Adam or somebody else, do you want to do the designs, or should I do the designs? And actually, while we're waiting... Yep, what do you want to do? Uh, put like three salvage beams and a normal uh, Orion, you know, laser beam in it. Okay. And then do a different design with uh, repair beams on it as well. But it should also have cargo in it. Even it's just one cargo bag. So, all right. Well, that's going to do that way. I am going to... There's a couple ways into the building screen, which I had mentioned before. Uh, the first is we go in through the asset screen. So we have two buildings up right now, a reactor and a research lab. So if we go into the reactor, we can click on over here. And this is what the new building screen looks like. Now, for those of you who have seen it in previous incarnations, it obviously didn't look like this. So we can see all the things that are pertinent for this. Uh, you know, the name, the location, um, the armor. This, the surface area is going to go away. That's just what's for debugging and that doesn't mean anything anymore. Uh, internal hit points. That means once you blow through the armor, what's left inside the building. Power cards is eating. Capacitor level is how much it's storing the energy. So I guess it's being eaten by the other side. So that's okay. I uh, might have just I built about to start building the building. Then, like, I don't know what's going on with it. Okay. Somebody frozen or crashing? No, it's building. It's building now. It, like, went, started building, then went on a bit of a circuit before coming back. Or at least that's what I saw. Okay. Well, I've seen that sometimes it'll start building, stop, circle the site, and start building again. Well, that's because it didn't slow down in time. When I've changed the um, the thruster equations they became more accurate and so the problem is is that it can't slow down anywhere near as efficiently as it used to so sometimes depending on how quickly it gets to where it's trying to go it kind of overshoots and if it gets too far out of range it's got to circle back around because that's what the ai does so it's actually doing what it's supposed to do one can argue that well it should be smart enough to slow down earlier and it's like well that's not well, untrue yeah, but working on it yeah but so uh when you're <clears throat> when you're typing in the uh, name of the ship does it doesn't disable any other hotkeys so i can i can't really type anything that actually uh includes any hotkeys 
Excuse me? When you're typing right. the name, why would you put a hotkey in the name? Like I'm trying to type salvager, and so I type S-A, and then to get to L, and then it just goes to another screen. Or if I'm, while I'm trying to type in the name, if I hit Q, it just closes the game. Q's been removed as a global a long time ago. Did you ever update your configuration? Yep, a couple times. Okay, that's extremely strange. So someone else should probably build the ship then, because, yeah. That's very, 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 very strange. Okay, hold on. So we go into the fact. You went to the factory screen, right? The quick designer. From the shipbuilder or the factory? From shipbuilder. All right. I can't guarantee what's going on in the shipbuilder anymore. I'm going in there a while. Try to do it through the factory screen, please. Okay. POV hat so I can actually sidestep like I am now. Whee. So, um, yeah, Jordan, you might want to tell it to go through a different thing instead of just sitting there blinking. I don't have any money, is the problem. Um, shall I just end a ship then? Or? No, I want to, uh, Matt, uh, not Matt. Um, okay. Add him to do it if he could. Yeah, I'm doing it. Also, I'm noticing you can't get a lowercase letters. Is that is that right? Currently. Our right, Jordan, I'm uh, giving you a far higher budget. Okay. So at least you're getting more coming in. All right. Why don't you wait until you have enough? That way, it's not just going into. Warm Between mode. what it has in it and what I have now, I should have enough. Needs, I have 400, it needs like 300. Yeah, but it's grabbing ore. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what to tell you. Um, sometimes if it starts out grabbing ore, then you stop it. Yes. Um, even if you, in the meantime, have accumulated enough RMs, it will go back to pulling ore. Right. So let's try building the thing again then. Okay. I think the builder bot AI has to be updated. Go figure to deal with uh, even the ore circumstances. So at least if it's going to bother the pull ore, then it should understand that it should go out and um, use the ore that is already gathered. So for example, it's 291 ore. It should just go out and use that and be done with it. All right, so looks like Adam did a salvager. So let's see what's got. So it's one beam, one, two, three test salvage beams, and it looks like it's all set. Adam, would you be? Uh, do you didn't? Did you put cargo on this at all? Hey, cargo hold. Oh, nope. whoops. Yeah, we need a cargo hold. Now, Matt, I should be able to just drag the salvager into the trash can. Is that how this one works? Uh, I believe you select the design to highlight it and then click the trash can. All right. Um, we need something that looks like make it highlighting, though. And then I'll hit delete. For sure you want to proceed. Confirm. Okay, so I got rid of the salvager ship. Did it delete on everybody else's screen or no? If you could. Uh, 
what, what should it be called? If you see a thing called Salvager, that didn't go across the network. I see. Builder bot and target. Same. All right, All right okay. good. That worked. I actually, uh, under the miscellaneous, don't see the cargo bay. All right. Oh, guess. there we go. Okay, different. It's in a different place. This with all the holes for some reason. Well, that's miscellaneous. There it is, cargo. Yeah. So hit default. So you, we add another thing. We click over here and we have cargo bay. We add another slot. There that is. And we go in here and we add a. Ooh, do we really want Builder Beam to be accessible? I believe you said no, you did not want that. Yeah, you might want to put Builder Beam at 3, uh, Adam, so we don't accidentally... I guess it doesn't really matter. Because they shouldn't be at 2 anyway unless it's test stuff. In which case it exactly. doesn't matter. Okay. I was just surprised to see it there. So we probably want to... Pair beam, and we want a salvage beam. All right, salvage is being made. Okay. Two. Let's add two repair beams and two salvage beams, because why not? All right, not nine. Um. Yeah, and let's see what should this guy look like. I'll have him look like this big guy here, right here. Is one up, and we'll. <laughs> it's called a moth. Okay, I like that. Save. All right, I oh, saved it frozen. and ate it. Now because the server crashed. So yeah, we're a new factory screen. Under. Populate design grid. Basically, it's looking for SS. It's looking for a. Um, request still came back as null. Hmm. Uh, well, basically, whatever did the, um, the thing with the uh, capital ship and stuff like that is like the moth is right next to the capital ship. So somehow the still name got corrupt. So, yeah. Okay. Well, that's the thing we got in the news. All right. Sorry about that. Let's see what the last save was. Alright, so it's four. Alright, so we'll come back that way. So we might have to redo some of the designs, but. Probably was something in the quick designer code if it was. Crossing the streams on the uh, the buffering or something. That's yeah, strange. Just like Adam was able to do it, and other people were able to do it. So I don't know why that would have happened that way, but okay. We love random, unknown bugs. Yay! All right, so I'm back in. Expecting in. So is that the newer salvager or the older salvager? Okay, we're at uh, the builder bot is just now putting together the factory screen. The factory. Fair enough. One, two, three. All right, this still has the older salvager. Because I don't see the cargo bay listed. Yeah, when you restart, it'll um, bring back whatever designs you've deleted. We didn't um, set it up to save. That's fine, it just means Adam's gonna have to make another salvager. Alright, so I deleted it. So we'll see what happens when people join in. We just got built. I'm in. Where's that other builder bot? Yep, it's another builder bot, that's fine. That being the case, I'm going to grab one of the builder bots and, and uh, start upping our abilities to actually manufacture stuff. So 
So it looks like the other one's being used. Uh, what's that going to be built for? Uh, we're we're, what's that? we're not going to have the power to run much else. Okay. We need more power. Fair enough. With two reactors, we can pretty much we have we can pretty much run like the research lab and mm -hmm. the two you know minor refinery and the factory all at once, and that's mm -hmm. like it. All right, both of them are in the queue. It's gonna be a while before I'll actually have enough to build the uh, salvager one, though. That's why I'm building uh, fire. Right. So we can speed up the uh, processing. So you're just building, um, so what are you building? Building one of each, so I'm in what? target, and then the fish ship comes out and that'll be, that'll be eat this, which will be the salvager. Okay. Does it have a cargo bay and all that? Yes. Does it have repair beams? It has salvaging beams. Salvage, so, salvage, so, salvage, Ryan. And there's the cargo bay. Always very important. Okay. I'll check my uh, thing here, Jordan. I thought, yeah, now you're at 100. So you're getting more percentage than anybody else. Yeah, but there's a ton of us. Yeah. Yeah, you know, one of the things I really wanted to do was change up the um, the algorithm so it doesn't just sit there and do stupid stuff. You know what I mean? Yep. So I'm gonna tell it to build another mine since I have enough money to do it. I'm I'm already telling it to build the mine. I have just I have the money. It just has to finish grabbing it. Well, yeah, that's why you should tell to move elsewhere, because, yeah. Well, I'll have it go to the other refinery so it doesn't just grab it from there. Oh, it's going from the warehouse now, I see. Um, yours is. That's an interesting thing. So I made the mistake of forgetting to put um, a warehouse first. Mm -hmm. So I guess now we know the first builder bot thinks the only place to grab stuff from is the first refinery that was up. And then yours, the second one built, will then go, and, will then go to the warehouse. Very interesting. I mean, it will go wherever it thinks it needs to, usually. So you're building another ref mine or are you building a refinery? Uh, I'm going to get another mine down. Well, I just put another mine down, that's what yep, I'm saying. Yep, so I had to retell it to go to a different spot. So what are you telling it to build now? Just below. What are just you below. telling it to below? A uh, mine. Okay, so we're going to have three mines? Yep. Alright. When you have a moment in the spare money, could you build a turret? I want to take a look at how it all shows up in the building sure. screen. Sure, I actually have enough, so I'll pull a turret right down here. All those replacement icons that you uploaded are working, although they're reversed. But ah, if okay, I, I'll if fix I that. flip them myself, they will show up. Okay, cool. So does that mean all the icons are now showing? Yeah. Uh, We'll see. Um, okay. I gotta wait for the turret to double check the last two. We can get another refinery up. That's good. It's working on it. Yep. All 
All right, so the turret is almost up. What's up? Think about it. There you go. Yeah, it's right. Up. So how's the build on the salvage ship going? It's not even started yet. Nope. How much money do you have, Adam, at this point? Uh, getting close to enough. Okay. Started. Sweet. Not been it in half. Okay. So how does the uh, the new building stream like the? Uh... Here, I'm good view. I want to see what it looks like. So this is a much more expanded version of the turret. And as you can see, there's more information than here. Internal hit points, power required, capacitor level, so it's full up. Current weapon. It's got a salvage beam as the current weapon. That's oh, dangerous. Oh, yeah. I noticed that. Uh, <laughs> it's currently pulling that test salvage beam. Yeah, that should so change. we should stop that. Yeah, no, that's, that's not good. <laughs> we can change it. We should be able to change the weapon. So why don't you try I'm to change the weapon? I'm noticing that owner, capacitor level, and de and um, current weapon are not showing, oh, uh, energy required are not showing icons on my Yes, end. the version that you have has the old icons that weren't showing up. The version I have, I put the icons in. Okay, then. But, yeah, uh, my version doesn't have the... Yeah. pretty good. Yep. Well, you'll Happy see it next live stream, then, because uh, mine has holes in it. Should I, like, redo that divider thing? It looks a bit more squashed. That was going to be filling up the hole up to the large window. It's. Um, well, what does everybody think of? Could everybody go to the building screen and take a peek so they can join in on the opinion? Yeah, what I'm, 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 I'm assuming for the turret. Yeah. All right. What am I? What specifically? Well, if you look below the Omni Ball, there's this reverse S like thing. Um, Paul's asking if you should redo what it looks like. Um, I had made it assuming it would stretch as high as the uh, you know purge capacitor button there. I didn't know it'd be like lowered. So should I like make it like refit or like less look less stretchy, perhaps? Well, the or... thing is, it should definitely stay as wide as it is as it is now. Sure, sure. But um, I could see the argument going both ways for either leaving it as is or shrinking the middle column so that um, the angle is okay. point here. I don't know. I don't know what do people um, think. Honestly, I just don't like it. Okay. It's like I saw like, I all the demos, it. and now that I'm in the game looking at the thing, and I'm like, eh, actually, I don't think it looks good at all. I so that might be an argument for... I'd almost, I'd almost rather it just wasn't there. Hmm. What would you replace it with? Why all of a sudden did the backdrop just drop in? That's wild. It was I, all I, dark, I know, and then all of a sudden the backdrop. I know there. we don't want white space. The problem is that like everything else on the screen is telling me something, mm -hmm. and that isn't telling me anything. And so as I scan oh. over, it's sort of like it's wasted in front of my eyes. Even though white space, even though white space will look empty, it's sort of like everything else has a purpose. What so it's if? the one purposeless thing in a sea of things that have a that have a reason to be there what if um we put those buttons and we had like two rows two columns of four and then we made the top window larger all right who's got the background shatter that's me i'm sorry yeah um yeah i mean we, we can take it offline we can discuss that one of the meetings versus doing it now uh matt i just n noticed an interesting strange bug mm -hmm. in the building screen the lighting is only coming in from the upper left, at least with a backdrop. Hmm. And then it shifts when, you know how the autosave thing comes up and puts text yeah. there? Then where the text is, then the backdrop shows up differently. That's really weird. So there's, because OpenGL is a state machine, something's being set when the font is being shown, not being set elsewise.
Okay. Yeah. So, make a note of it. So just something they keep. So something needs to be reset every loop, or else that happens, I guess. So what happens if we change the weapon? Um, we'll find out. Do you want to do a manual save first? Yeah. No, that's probably not a bad idea. Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah. Let me do a manual save. Resume. Weapon select. We'll make it a beam weapon because why not? And we'll make it Orion Mark One. And uh, it cr crashed. Yep. It's okay. doing something. So it pause. Oh. Uh, okay, now I've crashed out. Oh, so it crashed you out then. Did it uh, crash anybody else out? I'm still in. Nope. I still appear to be in. Okay. You log? Shall I quit out? No, well, now I crashed. Oh, right. Yep, yep, now me too. Me too. design grid. Was someone making something? Oh, no, that... I don't know if we've really tested the deleting a design in multiplayer. All right. Well, then there's so your answer then. We might have a problem there, but yes, yeah. we wanted to fix that anyway. So <laughs> well, we wanted to fix a lot of things. Um. Where'd that go? So, auto save 11. So you don't need a log from me, right? No, this is something we'll, we'll test manually, but not this Thursday. Or next Thursday, for that matter. Uh, and unfortunately, the system's going to kind of stay where it is for the next two weeks, which is not great, but... Hopefully people out there won't begrudge people for not having vacation to have a vacation. So, Adam, the salvage ship is out at this point, you're saying? Uh, I don't know where where it ended when we crashed, but it should be either out or very close to being out. As far as I saw, there was, less I saw, there was nothing on the build queue. Whoops, well, that's not going to work. Because hmm? evidently, when I tried to load in the manual one, it crashed out. Because we don't actually have Someone, it did not get saved with an actual piloting the ship. Me! <laughs> That's nice. Somehow I am not piloting the ship. How's that going to work? That's strange. Yes. That should not work that way, so we're going to have to go backwards a little bit. What screen were you on? I was just loading the game. No, 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 like when you hit the save. Mm, building, building screen. Because it was about to upgrade the weapon. I guess, make a note. It could still be from deleting that design, I don't know. I'm going to go backwards until it'll let me in, as far as... There's a uh, setting function that died, so uh, very possibly it was the deleted ship. Alright, I was able to come in at 10, so that's 20 minutes in. Um, let's see what's around here. So... There is the Salvage Beam 3 ship. Is this everybody, or is this a different thing? Am I, am I screwing up? There's Adam Piling, so yes, this is recent. Okay, so that's... Let's make sure we're on the right save. Um, so yeah, the Salvager came out. By the way, servers up, by the way, obviously. I was getting a weird thing when I was trying to connect, so I'm restarting my game real quick to see if it. Would... Okay. Is anybody is anybody not able to connect? I'll try. Whoa! Something went really, 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 really bad with the um, with yeah. the RMs. Yeah. So hmm. it's like I go, I click a back to edit flashes to a. What looks to be the lobby screen oh, yeah, right back to the That's what I saw. Yeah. Same, same. Uh, there are only three. That, this must be a test build because the only people in here are Arthur, Adam, and me. All right. So I thought it was okay that Adam was there, I guess. So I guess it's rejected. Well, that that's, was part of the security. <laughs> okay, so nothing's broken. It's doing what it's supposed to do. It is what it's supposed to do. We're supposed to be able to actually add an AI, make it a human, and they'll let you in. We've never actually done it, though. Uh, there's no... That was the intent, but we never actually implemented that yet. 
So we could let you into the old uh, one of the test builds. So I loaded in, I guess I loaded in 11? I thought I loaded in 10. I'll try loading 10, maybe I load in 11. Um, I'm going to try loading 10. If this is the same stupidity, then I'll keep going backwards. I think this is the same stupidity. Because there's Adam. Um, yeah. I was wondering why it says Salvage Beam 3. So yeah, this is not it. Let me put out. So why does my directory say that that's the newest? Oh, the manual's ten. Oh, I should bring a nine. Derpa, derpa, derpa. Okay. I really have to upgrade that load screen so we know what's the latest and stuff like that. Instead of playing games like this, that's definitely a thing. It's on my list. It's going to be done before early access, but yeah, it's not done yet. I have a long list of things before early access, and that's one of them. It's that creature comfort that really needs to be there. So multiplayer, that... Nine! This should be it, really. Yep, there's the, even the turret. So... Hey, oh, scary. And there's all the ships. So you have eat this and target and things of mine. Connected. All right. So it's building another research center from the looks of it. Okay, so that's how far back we are. Yeah, but I mean, isn't the salvager up then? By definition? Uh, yeah. You made it the fish ship, Adam? The salvager? Correct. Alright. I guess I'll hop in it, because we're trying to display it, right? So, who am I eating? You're eating my ship now. I'm eating what? My ship. I'm eating your ship. Meaning what? Your... The ship I'm piloting. Okay. Uh, so, the original triangle ship thing then all right well, i'm coming towards you uh the one i'm currently piloting actually all right i don't know which one you're currently piloting adam oh, it doesn't oh that one a triangle ship. okay i see it now all right so we get the range all right we get quite that that good I do know she's to get that close. I don't get that far either. So, this distance. Alright, so I might as well do all the save happen before I start nuking into you anyway. Alright, ready for this? Mm -hmm. There we go. Jeez, I just cut you with the pieces there. Let's get a message, damage, test, firing, eat this target, null, item, zero. Yeah, um, we were supposed to turn with all the debugging. It's unusual <laughs> for me to see it. And now I'm crashing, I think? Yeah, some weird stuff's going on now. Yeah, I'm pausing it once in a while. Yeah, no, it's, uh... I am paused? Well, this is an extreme crash. And I'm back. Oh, wait. wait. Okay, I control it, deleted, and then it then it unfroze and stopped crashing. Okay. Huh. Well, I ate Adam's ship. I didn't really qu quite mean to eat it quite that quickly, but there you go. Now what we should have is I, as a person, should now have some some CMs in my cargo bay, which I do. I have sixty six because I really harshed it a lot worse than I thought in the. Uh, in the initial run of it. So, that is a successful test. Although, now did anybody else crash out? Did everybody crash out? Uh, I, I did not crash actually out. crash out. I'm, I'm still, still in, in the, the ship. It's just, now my, now I'm, it's telling me that my pilot is dead, but uh -huh. I can still basically uh, spin the ship. Okay, well, that was one of the things we needed to kind of 
put into the system, which then... I mean, as far as I am concerned, you're dead. I'm not thinking as for everybody else, you may or may not be dead. Uh... I see... I Adam see. piloting status dead. Yeah. Um, how much it, of a ship is supposed to be there? None is de -rest. Um... It, only, it appears to have no armor but full hull for me. Yeah, can you see me doing a barrel roll with the ship? No, I can't see anything, but... He, he, he... Get in there. Uh, yes, I can see that. Now, the fun thing here is I'm on the nav screen. Can somebody who's sim screening around go and check? That's a good question. Well, I mean, obviously I can't see it. Let me see if I can see him on the nav screen. So, like, Paul, can you find Adam and see if you can still find him? Me? Yeah, you. Oh, right, I see one ship named Adam. It is, its name is Target, its owner is Adam. You're looking for something that says, that says status, like, dead, like with the dead talk, cockpit or whatever of the things. Yeah, I don't see him even in the nav screen. I see a ship named Target with an Adam owner. Does Adam have more than one ship? Yep. That is, okay. is it actually doing barrel rolls on the ground? No, I see it hovering like, uh, like a relatively high up. All right, is that the triangle ship, uh, uh, Paul? Maybe, yeah. That one. I don't think you actually see names of ships in the sim screen. Yeah, no, you do. I mean, you see the name of the ship, you can see the owner. Wait, the reason why I call it the triangle ship is, well, it looks like a triangle. Oh, hold on, I see another ship for Adam. Hold on. Yes, I can still see Adam in the sim screen. Yes, he's. I can. Through this monitor, I can see him doing barrel rolls. He's big. It uh, on the sim screen. It says, you know, no armor, no health, dead cockpit. But he's totally there. All right. Yeah. So obviously, whatever's being sent across for his final kill isn't being sent. Yeah. So that's the only thing. So I mean, you are seeing him decimated. He just is still technically alive. Although with the cockpit blown out, he shouldn't be able to do that kind of stuff either well, but you still. know as far as we're, we never actually set up the stuff like what what should right. happen is when your cockpit's blown you should get a black screen that says you know link was a link destroyed or whatever right and you know nothing else maybe a hud matt does the self damage actually show what i'm carrying or no as far as the cargo screen yeah no it it's not um, okay that's fine accessible yet um let me see where i'm wondering if i can see it from the nav screen I never set it up in the nav screen, so if he didn't do it, I didn't. I yeah. didn't do it. I was working hard to see. Because I knew I could see cargo with like, of uh, you know the builder bots. No. Okay, so can we get a design that has both repair beams and salvage on it, so we can load up a ship with some CMs and then try to repair somebody? Okay. Should I restore um, Adam's ship to life? Probably the easiest. Alright, you should be alive again. Yep, and now I see you. There you are. Was we someone just joining? Go. Um... We really gotta figure out what's up with the way it pull, the, the it pulls yeah, resources. Yeah. No, I know it's one of those I know priorities. I know it's on the list. It's just... Yeah, I know it's annoying. As things go across my brain. Yep. No, I hear you. Now you're down there. Yeah, we still have the debug code running. I, I didn't think that was still running there, but it is. So if I get close enough to Adam, even though he's not doing anything, I should be able to grab him and then take him with me. He is mine now. And then it crashed. That was probably me. I was in the uh, the quick designer, and I hit save button for my ship. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is a new factory screen. This is break. I'm gonna quit. Yep. Game. Because the seal name, it keeps on concatenating with capital ship. Try a different ship. Meaning, if I wonder if capital ship, as in the name, keeps on corrupting. Does capital ship dot ship? 
and maybe it's not because I was using the same exact model and it I had the same exact problem so maybe there's a problem with, with how that's being concatenated maybe it's thinking it hit the end because it's seeing ship thinking that's the extension and it's not I wonder if that's the case Matt, do you want to mark that down just so we have a note of it? Uh, capital ship is corrupting. Please. Well, I think it's, ca it's capital ship dot ship, and the problem is when we're trying to remove the dot ship, I think it's just doing ship, if you know what I mean. And uh, so okay. when someone tries to make a ship using that particular model, it's getting corrupt. And so I think that's what's happening. Because now there's twice now with the same exact model that it had a problem with, whereas Adam and everybody else has been making ship designs without a problem, and it's only that design hull is causing the problem. Does that make sense? Gotcha. Got so it. there you go. So the good news is it looks like it just saved right before um, this particular occurrence. I bombed out. Oh, uh, because I just quit. All right, so we'll run this again. So it just saves at 13. So Adam, if you would try again making a design with um, both salvage and repair, like two each. And uh, okay. we rely on someone else to blow a hole in somebody. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm gonna need some money for that because that's gonna be a big, expensive ship. Uh, I think we have money at this point. Take it from me. All right, you should be able to come in. Whee. Research complete. Right, why am I still accelerating backwards? Whoops. I guess it's um, because I was holding down the button when it uh, went through. Was still thought I was holding down the button. So why is this a slower ship? It's like speed two hundred. So it doesn't take as long to, long to produce. Ah. I was wondering if it was an equation issue or it was a purposeful design change. And it's, it, the thing's really expensive, so I, I was cutting corners. That's why it has less armor and basically a less speed, so it doesn't take forever to get out for the stream. Fair enough. Rejoining. Okay. All right, I'm going to grab Adam's ship and take him to the... A little bit higher spot here. Alright. And that one will go. I do like the fact that you just pick up ships nowadays. All right, repair ship is now designed. Excellent. Let's see what it looks like. And you had no problem because you used a different uh, model, right? I did not have any issues. Okay, well, there it is. Let's see what we got here. Repair beam, repair beam, salvage, salvage, Orion, and you had the cargo bay. Excellent. So, yeah. I even got a, a beam weapon that. 5,800. I can actually build one. Oops, don't want to do that. Well, so there's already one being built. Matt, were we ever going to add tooltips to uh, the stuff in the queue? Like who ordered it, that kind of thing? 
Uh, did we win tooltips or did we win a whole pop up? Probably a whole pop up because we, we probably want more information than just a tooltip kind of thing. I mean, again, it's further out, but it's like one of those, well, it's probably a good idea. So I'm just like, okay, because I asked the question, I was like, okay, who put it on the queue? And it's like, I honestly don't know. Um, what else would we want there in the pop up other than who put it there? I mean, it already has the minute countdown. That's nothing special there. Uh, probably how much money, like a, a quick look. This is how much it costs. This is how much money the person who built it has. Mm. So you can know That's how true. far along you are. Just because right now the repair ship's on the design on the right, does that mean that as there's more designs put into the system, that that's going to be as convenient? So you're probably right there. Not to mention, since it does depend, like it builds based on whoever put it in the queue, yeah. that would be something good to know. Yeah, no, you're right. Does anybody else have any other suggestions of what to put in the pop-up on the, on the factory screen? Uh, no, it sounds like pretty much everything you need to know, like at a glance. Okay, fair enough. How maybe something like uh, arbitrary speed, um, maybe the firepower or something else like that might be useful. I don't know. Eh, because if, if you're looking at if you're looking to build something, you're gonna look on the right, and then you need more to like drag it over. There, you need more. Yeah. You need to know more of the design rather than. Like, just on the factory queue, like, usually if you're looking at that, you're going, how much longer until I can build mine? Or until mine comes out? I have an idea. I uh, frozen. Is anybody else? I just froze. So someone else must have frozen. I'm still in until, I guess, I freeze from Arthur. I'm going to try and see if I can... If I... Was anybody Wait. doing something funky? Oh, so now I'm back. Um, it was in the middle of doing building upgrades, but... 30 seconds. That. Right. So I just I finished crashing out when Arthur said he was back. Yeah, it was me. I don't know why. Do you want to think it might be useful, um, Matt? Right clicking on the pop up or something like that, or maybe on the ship, and then having the design all the center on the right to put it, that, that design at the top. Hmm. That way you can find it easier. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Again, ideas doesn't. Not anytime soon or whatever, just so that it's just an idea. So it should be done in about three, two, one, and there it goes. Alright. So, that being the case, let me see. I will hop in. And let me find Adam's ship. He wants me to eat. All right. Before you start salvaging, I'm going to rejoin. All right. So, how do I do this? Back in. How do I um go to the next uh, queue? If you know what I mean. All right. So, I guess I go into the. Well, he's a big boy, isn't he? I will say, Matt, that realistically, we need to kind of shrink this so it doesn't go off the screen, but it looks pretty in here, though. Yeah, this one definitely has the, uh, the sheen going on it correctly, etc. That's actually kind of nice. Which okay. screen are you on? I'm in the self damage screen. The uh, ah. representation of the ship is just is a little off the screen, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, small problem <laughs> when I go into the select the weapons, they're all saying Orion Mark 1s. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I can uh, laser that. weapons is being worked on. Okay. Uh, what the fuck? Sorry, I shouldn't be swearing. <laughs> and, all right, I'm crashed for the millionth time. I do not, I do not know what's going on. Well, if I go into the where you see the individual systems... Um, it's working, I mean, it has all the names correct, but if you go to the weapon text, it's not. I'll just assume that the first two are its own thing, so I'll just... 
put that there. And I'll put this, the actual thing on the third. Okay. Okay, so how do I change the configuration? I'm going to figure out how I, what the default controls are for actually switching weapon techs. Let's see. Next weapon tech, none had one and three. Okay. So, if I move this over, I think it's still firing all of them. That's one of what happens. Okay, nothing happens there. No. Oh, because I'm not in mouse control mode, that helps. No. Damage testing repair ship targeted six items, so. Alright. Oh, okay, so it is working, it's just the monitors. I guess that's another thing we need to do, the monitor needs to be updated. So I thought it changed out the um, the capacitors on the right. Which monitor? Uh, in the far right where it shows all the weapon capacitors. So that way we still need an indicator something for what weapon take we're on. I think um, Paul, we're going to talk about that doing a zero one two or, or one two three rather somewhere on the screen so we know what weapon we were on. Is that me? I'm sorry. Yes, that's you. Uh, we need some sort of way of indicating which weapon tick we're on. Ah, uh, okay, like a design thing. Yeah, design thing. Just like a one, two, one through six. Okay, then. We'll probably put it under the weapon thing there, and maybe we'll ask the HUD guy about it, but there we go. Alright, uh, then. But we definitely need something like that. I thought that the HUD was updated that way. It's not. Alright, so, Adam, I'm going to damage you a little bit, and then I'm going to try to salvage you, which might work or might not work. We'll find out. Okay. Okay, so now you're damaged. So I'm going to go to the next one. And that's not doing anything. I'm going to go to the next one. Alright, so I'm salvaging you. Um, I'm hoping not destroying you. Let's see what happens. Well, my internals are slowly going down. Yeah, they are. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can repair you now. Alright, I'm trying to repair him, and it's not repairing him. I'm not seeing anything on my end either. Oops. You jumped. I don't know how that will happen, but... I'm currently frozen. Okay. All right, now I'm back. Um, Matt, have you ever, ever tried the uh, salvage beams? Uh, yes, but not within, like, the last week. Okay. All right. Well, I'm trying to grab him. And it's it's not doing anything. So. Not doing it. Okay. All right. If I challenge him, it definitely works. I can fire my beams, so the weapon ticks are working. Okay. Um, even though I can't see which one I'm on, that's kind of our fault, my fault, kind of thing. Um. Yeah, the repair beams aren't firing. I presume they're the same range, like 500. Yeah, me there. Me there. Constantly freezing, or my uh, frame rates through the floor. Okay, now I'm fine. All right, I'm frozen. Um, it's also possible I don't think I have anything in there to pull directly from CMs. Ah, that would do it. So, so if I ate him completely and got some arms from his arm, I could do it. That's what you're trying to tell me. Whatever you know, be firing me is making me fall oh. out. Okay, well, that's the thing. I'm going to eat you now. Munch. Now, technically, I should have some... Uh, here, I'll respawn you. And now... Uh, all right, Adam, hold still. Hold still. Thank you. I want to beam you again, and then see if I can repair the damage. Because technically, I get some RMs if I uh, eat your armor. So, let me find you. And so, I'm going to hit you a couple times. Alright. So, a little bit of armor damage. Alright. So. Yeah, I'm trying to... Repair them and it's not repairing them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's that. Okay. Test that again. Yep. All right, now I'm paused again. I wonder if something's going on. Although he just went barrel. Where did he go? 
Well, you're right there. She didn't go anywhere. Oh, looks like you're having fun with the strafing, though. You know, seeing, watching the beam follow me. Oh, you actually see something? No, I'm just watching your, uh, oh. your, your repair beam try and follow me. Oh, you so you can't see me firing a beam, then? Oh, yeah. I, I can see it, definitely. What color is it? Uh, like a light green. Alright, light green's the salvage beam. So let me go to the salvage beam, and that's what this looks like. Oh, to me, they both kind of look the same. Okay, one should be blue. Well, so. I, might have made, I might have messed up the colors. I didn't yeah. touch okay. those Fair rigorously enough. either. So now I'm grabbing you, and now you're, you're coming to dinner with me. Well, now I'm paused out. Has anybody else crashed out? Not yet. No. I mean, it's freezing a lot because I know. of the beam, it seems. Yeah. I did not appear to be, though. I was back for a half second, and then it's paused up again. And then I'm back again. So. Alright, well, that was the testing we wanted to get done. We want to actually... It's 435. Do you want to actually play? Do you want to call it? Or what do you want to do? Unless someone's killing me. Ah. Okay, fair enough. Which is weird, because I'm definitely firing outside my range, but I'm still hitting you. I'm dying. Uh... First splattage. Yep. I am definitely first splatted. take pot shots at my butt. Hello. Okay. Well, uh, thank you all for coming. Hopefully, I honestly can't guarantee that next time all these are going to be things are going to be uh, going to be vacation the next few weeks. But hopefully we'll have something new to do. Alright, um, I'll exit out. Alright, so server's down. Thank you everyone for coming by. And uh, we'll see you next time, and hopefully we'll have some things fixed by then. Um, but like I said, <laughs> we're, we desperately need a vacation. We've been working very, very hard for quite a few years on this, actually. Um, there's always going to be problems. We're getting better at it. But, uh, yeah, we all kind of need a break. So we'll see you, I guess, in July. All right. Thank you all for stopping then. Bye, everybody.